practice prepper. Hey everybody, this is Praxis, and it has been 98 degrees and very humid here at Normal House the past couple days. Uh, I was just back at our old house, you know, grabbing some more things, and I, I just got back here, and today the power's been fluttering on and off, and it's got me thinking, especially because I just brought a lot of food from the, you know, my old house that you guys are used to seeing on the channel. I just brought a lot of food from there, from the freezer and the refrigerator, into the refrigerator here, and now I'm thinking, man, you know, I don't want to lose that food if the power goes out. Like I said, it's been fluttering on and off. The longest it's been off is maybe 20 minutes or so, and that's not uncommon at all. On a really hot, humid day like this, a lot of people are running their air conditioners, and while we have solar panels on the roof, those are completely grid-tied here, and if the power goes out, we are out of luck like everybody else. Um, you know, whether we're running, we're, we're not running an air conditioner, we're not using that much power at all right now, but if everyone else in the area is, then, you know, we're going to suffer the consequences just like everybody else. So, it's got me thinking, I want to uh, do some things here that will help me to make it so that my refrigerator isn't going to all spoil if the power goes out for a longer period of time. And again, as you guys know, I don't want to put a lot of money or time into this house. Just some simple things to help, you know, get you through that kind of stuff so that, you know, things would be a little bit more comfortable and reasonable while we're here and we're building our next place. Uh, and the technique that I'm using today is just to build up the thermal mass in the refrigerator. I don't have a lot of stuff in there at the moment, um, so what I've been doing is just taking old jugs, plastic jugs and things of that nature, filling them with water, putting as much water in the refrigerator just to chill it down, and we'll make great use of that water because it's nice to drink, you know, cold water out of the refrigerator. But we want to pack the refrigerator, the, the refrigerator with as much thermal mass as we possibly can because the more cold stuff that's in that refrigerator, if the power does go out, it's going to take longer for all that stuff to lose you know, all of its coldness. Uh, also what I'm doing is I'm taking some plastic jugs, specifically plastic, and I'm leaving some air space up in the top of them, and I'm putting those up into the freezer. Remember that when, I, when water freezes into ice it expands a little bit, so you want to have some room for expansion in there. Um, but I'm going to be freezing those, and if we have a really long, uh, you know, extended power outage, I can take those frozen bottles and I can bring them down into the refrigerator or leave them in the freezer, and all that stuff is just going to help to keep everything in there, you know, lasting longer into, you know, a power outage. And those kind of things happen all the time. Like I said, they've happened many times today. I'm sure they'll be popping up you know, throughout the summer. This is something I haven't really dealt with the past couple years because back at the house that you guys are used to seeing, I had solar panel backup, battery backup and everything like that. The power went out, it was no big deal. I could keep pumping water from the well, I could keep running my refrigerator, it was no big thing. But at a normal house, at normal average American house, power goes out, a lot of things can go wrong. So my goal is to try to minimize that while we're here and we're building our next awesome place. So that's it. I hope you find that tip helpful. Lots of thermal mass, pack your fridge with as much stuff as you can, get it cold, and if the power goes out, your stuff's going to stay cold longer than it would otherwise. That's it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.